was commissioned just before Christmas to write music for a theatre company. Um, the theatre company, Vocal Motions Elastic Theatre, had received funding to uh, produce a show that contained some scientific principles together with art. The concept that Vocal Motions came up with was Baroque Box. The production took place at the Greenwich and Docklands International Festival between the 24th of June and the 2nd of July. The production is set within um, a large black box installed at the King William Colonnade at the Old Royal Naval College. It consisted of 21 performances over nine days. The concept is that the artist, who is loosely based on Bernini, has just been given the commission to portray Saint Teresa in ecstasy, um, in sculpture form. It was quite serendipitous, the commission for Baroque Box, because I had been working on um, pieces for my next album with the band Cello Man, which I lead. And I decided to, to go with a Baroque flavour, so I'd been doing quite a lot of research into Baroque music, analysing Pergolesi, Bach, Vivaldi, and just ab absorbing the, the styles of that period. I'd also, at the time, had just been to see St Matthew's Passion at a local church and I think two days after that I got the phone call to write music for Baroque Box. The composition of Baroque Box was split into five distinct sections. The Overture, Vision 1, Vision 2, Tarantella and Aria. Linking these were uh, short pieces which are called lectures where the scientist gives his theories uh, accompanied by cello continuo which was mostly improvised uh, but began over the 21 performances to be more set. It was initially suggested that um, it should be a mixture of Baroque music with contemporary music. Although it does have that, I was originally going to go with different soundscapes and sound effects, um, and we scrapped all that. I think musically, it's, it's very well crafted in how the score underpins the action without ever intruding on the more crucial narrative points. It's, it's very concise, very economical, but manages to conjure up all the different uh, moods and, and um, atmospheres necessary, uh, much like a, a very dynamic film score. Uh, tonally, the writing is very sympathetic to the uh, natural blend of tones. ended um, discussions on the instrumentation of clarinet, cello, violin and percussion. Um, in the end I composed for B-flat clarinet, bass clarinet, cello, violin and an assortment of percussion, whatever I could find. Um, I borrowed some drums from a college I work at and we bought a couple of pieces of instruments. So we have buffalo drum, tambour, glockenspiel, small darbuka and tambourine. It's a, it's a very um, a very balanced use of the instruments. The, the percussion can be as loud and rhythmic or as subtle and textural as necessary. The cello flits very adroitly between uh, a very sort of baroque... <laughs> a very baroque uh, set of lyrical sort of lines and the uh, the various registers of cello are used very well. Uh, it can also serve as a very rhythmic underpinning for 
what's happening m melodically on the higher voices. <laughs> The director, Jacek Skarso, um, was very open for me to develop my own ideas, but he did have um, a particular concept of how he saw it. For instance, he requested that there will be a tarantella, uh, an aria. And in fact, the aria is the only piece that I included composition for voice. The aria needed to be a set piece um, which would be the same every night. The process of recording the pieces was very important to me, not only to archive the music as a composer, but also to the very fact that we just performed Barack Box 21 times meant that the players would completely understand what was required by the music and would perform as such on recording. In order to get the best results, I booked a, a very respectable studio in West London called Eastcote with lots of analog gear and beautiful microphones, meaning we could get the optimum sound. Recording took five to six hours and we recorded everything except for the singers on the visions but we did record Maya on the aria. It's the artist's explorations to discover what ecstasy is which is encapsulated by the end in the aria. Oh, so...